The library was quiet, almost too quiet. The only sounds were the faint rustling of pages turning and the occasional creak of the old wooden floor beneath my feet. I loved the library's stillness, the way the musty scent of old books filled the air, comforting and familiar. It was a place where time seemed to stand still, where I could lose myself in the pages of a novel and forget about the outside world. That evening, I had the library almost entirely to myself. I was tucked away in a corner, a stack of books on the table in front of me, the smell of yellowed paper and aging leather filling my nostrils. I was deep into a particularly engrossing novel when I heard it, a faint whispering sound like a breeze brushing through the leaves of a tree. I paused, lifting my head to listen, but the sound was gone. Shaking it off as my imagination, I returned to my book, the words on the page pulling me back into the story. But then, the whispering came again, a soft, unintelligible murmur that sent a shiver down my spine. This time, it was closer, almost as if someone were standing right behind me, speaking in a low, breathy voice. My heart skipped a beat, and I glanced over my shoulder, half expecting to see someone there. But the aisle was empty, the dim light casting eerie shadows that seemed to flicker and shift. The smell of the old books, once comforting, now felt stifling, heavy in the air, mingling with something else, a faint, metallic odor that made my stomach turn. I couldn't place the smell, but it was out of place in the library, unnatural. The whispering came again, louder this time, almost insistent. I stood up, the chair scraping against the floor with a loud screech that echoed through the empty space. My pulse quickened, and I realized I was holding my breath, the silence now oppressive, as if the library itself was holding its breath along with me. I tried to shake off the growing sense of unease, telling myself it was just the old building settling. But the feeling of being watched, of something unseen lurking just out of sight, was impossible to ignore. I needed to leave, to get out of there. I gathered my books with trembling hands, trying to ignore the way the shadows seemed to stretch and warp around me, the way the air seemed to thicken with each passing second. The library, once a sanctuary, now felt like a trap, the walls closing in around me. As I turned to leave, I caught sight of something out of the corner of my eye, movement in one of the aisles. My heart pounded in my chest as I forced myself to look, to confront whatever it was. At first I saw nothing but rows of books, but then a figure stepped out from between the shelves, emerging from the shadows. It was a woman, or at least it had been. Her skin was pale, almost translucent, with a sickly gray hue. Her eyes were sunken, hollow, with dark circles that made her look like she hadn't slept in years. Her clothes were tattered and old-fashioned, as if she had stepped out of another time. She moved slowly, her movements jerky, unnatural, as if she were a puppet being controlled by unseen strings. Her lips moved, and I realized with a jolt of terror that the whispering had started again, but this time it was coming from her. I couldn't make out the words, but they were fast, frantic, and they grew louder and louder. I stumbled back, my mind reeling, my body frozen with fear. The air was thick with the smell of decay and copper, the whispering filling my ears, drowning out all other thoughts. She took another step toward me, her hand outstretched, fingers long and skeletal, reaching for me. The lights flickered, casting her face in sharp relief, and I saw the hunger in her hollow eyes, a desperate, ravenous need that chilled me to the bone. She was close now close enough that I could feel the cold radiating off her, a deep, unnatural cold that seemed to suck the warmth from the air. Instinct kicked in, and I turned to run, my feet pounding against the floor as I sprinted toward the exit. The whispering followed me, growing louder, more frantic, the words still unintelligible but filled with a desperate urgency. I burst through the library doors, the cool night air hitting me like a shock. The whispering stopped abruptly, the silence almost as jarring as the noise had been. I didn't stop running until I was outside, 
the library looming behind me like a dark, brooding presence. I doubled over, gasping for breath, my heart racing, my mind struggling to comprehend what had just happened. The air outside was fresh and clean, but the smell, the metallic odor, still lingered in my nostrils, a reminder of the horror I had just witnessed. I never went back to that library. I couldn't. The thought of those hollow eyes, the desperate whispering, filled me with an indescribable dread. And every time I pass by a library, I can't help but feel a cold shiver run down my spine, a reminder of the thing that still haunts my nightmares.